The first modern humans are thought to have left Africa and began spreading around the world up to 100,000 years ago. But exactly what route they took and when it happened is still up for discussion among academics. Now scientists are bringing us a step closer to understanding the life-changing journey our ancestors took with a new way to trace migration events published today. The model is based on all existing studies of out-of-Africa routes. As techniques for sequencing genomes of ancient ancestors improve, Finding more efficient ways to analyze and understand the data is key to improving our understanding of human history. We view our model as a detailed synthesis of existing data and a good basis for further work, said Dr. Mark Lipson, lead author on the paper from the Department of Genetics at Harvard Medical School. After accounting for interbreeding events involving the archaic hominids, the new model shows there was a major eastern-western population split once modern humans left Africa. This dates back to at least 45,000 years ago, with Australians and New Guineans inside the Eastern Group. Several major branches of present-day human diversity in Eurasia were established fairly soon after modern humans left Africa, although there were also important instances of admixture later between diverged populations, Dr. Lipson told Mill Online. Their model says there was a radiation of modern human populations shortly after leaving Africa, matching the work of archaeologists. But one theory, known as the Southern Route, is still not fully understood. Previous research had suggested humans spread out across the globe in four migration events driven by climate change connected to variations in the Earth's orbit. But this is not backed up by the new theory. We don't see evidence of ancestry from an early Southern dispersal in present-day populations, although we can't rule out a small proportion, said Dr. Lipson. But he said the new model could be used to test more data and come up with a more comprehensive view of our history. In the future, new populations could be added to this kind of model in order to test how they fit in relation to many other populations simultaneously. He also urges caution until more DNA data is in hand. There is some older archaeological evidence from Asia, and while our results suggest that the earliest inhabitants probably would not have been closely related to Asian and Australian populations today, it would be extremely interesting to see DNA from those sites, he said.